I think that systems such as Triton um, bring an enormous opportunity for industry and the government to work together to really exploit the system. Triton Unmanned Aerial System and the Triton capability as a holistic capability is probably one of the most exciting things that comes to the Australian Defence Force capability in, in a couple of decades. The range and the persistence and the uh, collection capabilities of these systems that make them enormously effective for military operations also make them enormously capable for humanitarian disaster relief and a range of other missions. So I think there is a beautiful whole of government application for these systems that we Northrop Grumman can help the Australian government achieve. It gives Australian commanders, Australian government and government agencies a unique ability to be able to look at, view, have uh, maritime surveillance across a broad area in places in the past where it's been very, very expensive to deploy manned aircraft to that region. So what the Triton capability does is it gives us an ability to be able to deploy to those regions uh, autonomously without putting anyone's life at, not life at risk and to deliver high quality data to, to a man on the ground to be able to make decisions. That is a quantum leap. We've just completed uh, a couple key events for us. That first was that uh, initial envelope expansion that proved out the maturity of the system. We followed that up with three uh, very successful ferry events to Patuxent River where we moved the aircraft from California to Patuxent River, 11 and a half hour journey across the U.S. without incident. Um, the system performed flawlessly for us. I think Triton has an enormous potential contribution to maintaining border security and national security across the, across the entire Australian landmass. Where we are right now is bringing that sensor capability in and over this next six months uh, we'll be going through uh, evaluation of all our sensor capabilities, our maritime or our MFAS uh, sensor providing 360 degree coverage for us uh, to identify um, uh, potential targets of opportunity uh, as well as that EOIR capability that uh, we'll couple together um, and that'll take place over the next uh, six months uh, and then we'll follow that up with an operational evaluation uh, demonstrating the maturity and the capability of the system. If I look back over my 12, nearly 13 years um, and I try to think of the, the, the time that made me proudest, the, the, the time when I felt uh, the most excitement, I think, in my job. It's got to be March this year when the Prime Minister of Australia stood up in front of a Triton, full-scale uh, Triton model, uh, and located on a military Air Force base, a RAF base Edinburgh, and said, we're going to buy this, this system. We're going to buy the, the Triton unmanned system. And that made me so proud, so happy, to see a succinct statement by the leader of a government to the world saying that we had the best system to offer uh, in, in maritime surveillance. I was so proud, as I'm sure uh, all of Northrop Grumman was, to see a vote of confidence in our system and a reassurance that we had a path ahead.